Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, I am going to do something I really don't want to do, but I'm going to do it so you don't accidentally do it. I'm going to show you how to destroy your wax or paint sealant that you may have on your car. People ask me all the time, what is on the Honda? Because it beads up so well, it's it's so slick, and this is what I use. This, in my opinion, is the absolute best paint protection you can put on your car. This is Adams liquid paint sealant. It used to be called Adams, I think it was Super Machine sealant. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Um, according to the label, it's only supposed to last, I think, six to nine months. It's been on the Honda for a year and a half. Now you guys see, I, I try to wash the car. I'm doing reviews on all these different soaps um, at least once a week. Now, the protection is doing great. But I can tell just a little bit that it's starting to lose its effectiveness. Now the reason I can tell that is the way that the water is beating. Uh, and also when I'm washing the car, and I'm run my, run my hand over the paint, I can feel little imperfections in there, which means that contaminants have gotten into the sealant um, that can't be removed from washing. The only way that you can remove that is to clay bar the car. Now the clay bar of the car properly, you want to remove whatever wax and sealant protection is on there. <clears throat> Do an isopropyl alcohol wipe down and then clay bar the car. Do another wash and then dry it and then reapply the Adams paint sealant. So that's what's on the car. Now I'm going to do something today as I said that will instantaneously pretty much destroy whatever wax or sealant. You guys see how durable this stuff is. And I'm going to use what most people use including what I used to use before I was um, informed about how to wash cars properly. Uh, what I've seen my neighbors using, I see this all the time, and I'm going to be using dishwashing detergent. Now, why am I going to be using this? Well, number one, uh, I'm just using this brand because this is what I have. This is probably one of the most famous brands, Dawn Dishwashing Liquid. Um, this stuff is designed for one purpose, and that's to clean your dishes, utensils, your glasses, your eating things you eat on and to remove the grease and the contaminants and it does it very very well. This stuff will clean your car very very well but it comes at a price. As I'm going to show you in just a minute it will instantaneously remove whatever wax or sealant protection you have on there. There's no I'm just going to do it real quick kind of mentality it will take it off. Now I don't recommend that you ever use this on your car even to remove the wax and sealant protection. It's too harsh. The reason is the surfactants inside the Dawn pull oil out of and encapsulate the oil. That's how it cleans. Well, if you do that, then you are pulling not only your wax and sealant protection off the paint, but you are also pulling some of the oils that make the clear coat have that shine and luster. Uh, if you've ever seen a car that's got oxidation on it, that's because it has dried out. And this stuff will dry out your paint. One use isn't going to kill it, but it will dry out your rubber seals. It will dry out your weather stripping. So please don't use this. I'm only going to do a little test area on the hood to show you um, what this stuff does. Because this is the most common thing. People grab a bucket, they grab some dishwashing detergent, whatever brand it may be. Uh, and usually a dirty towel. Hopefully they're using something like a clean wash mitt and then start washing their car. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. The other thing is the rest of the car, since I'm going to be stripping it, we're going to use a product that I've already used before in one of our tests and I'm going to show you what that is. That's what I'll be cleaning the entire car with to remove the uh, Adams paint sealant that's on there. Just keep in mind that I'm only doing this to show you what can happen. Don't, please don't use this on your car unless you just could care less about your paint and just want it clean because it will eventually pull the oils uh, out of the paint. Sure, it cleans well, but that's not what you want. So, um, 
I'm just going to get the camera set up outside. I'm going to do a little test to show you the beating, the current beating action on the hood, and then we're going to wash half the hood with the Dawn. All right, so first I'll spray the hood with water. Okay, so a good way to tell if your wax or sealant protection <clears throat> is still viable is the way that the water quickly beads up into a high bead and then it will roll off the surface very easily. Okay, so the entire hood, you know, the like I said before at the beginning, the uh, it's still protecting well, but I need to get the contaminants out of there, so. Okay. Now, next we'll do what most people should not do. We'll get a bucket, put a little dishwashing detergent in there, add some water, Look at the amount of suds that makes. Add a wash mitt. All right, so I'm gonna wash the passenger side half of the hood only. Looks innocent, right? All right, I'm going to bring the camera in, and I want you to hear what it sounds like when there's nothing on here. Okay, the surface is smooth, but there's there's nothing, there's no protection on here anymore. The beading that you're seeing is just because of the um, oils that are still actually in the paint itself, not because of the wax or sealant protection. And then on this side, smooth. This side, Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on this half the next step if you're going to clay bar your car. Okay, we've got the uh, paint sealant is gone. So I'm going to take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, actually 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% distilled water. We're going to do this half and it'll even sound uh, even worse. All right, so I have a spray bottle. It's got 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% distilled water. And I'm gonna spray it on this half. Okay, once that's on there, I'm just going to take my wash mitt and push it over to the side so it's not getting over on the untreated side. And then we'll rinse that off.
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip the sealant off the rest of the car. And this is one of the reasons I tell you guys to make sure you get something that's pH neutral. I'm going to be using Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Clear. And if you even read on the directions, it'll tell you what ratio to mix it if you want to remove wax uh, or sealant buildup. So I'm going to be using two ounces per gallon of water, which is strong enough to do pretty much what the Dawn dishwashing detergent did, but it's not going to harm the paint and it's not going to harm the weather stripping, the sealant uh, or the seals or any of the plastic pieces on the car. So just make sure you always read the label. That's why I don't recommend using something like this as a maintenance wash because if you put a little bit too much and if you go right over that uh, area or that scale that will allow you to go from a wash to actually stripping your wax or sealant protection then uh, well that's not good. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, do the rest of the car, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay so the next step <clears throat> after you've stripped everything off the car with your wash and then went over it with your isopropyl alcohol is to use a clay bar. All right. Now I used to use the Adams clay bar which is right here. Um, I kind of ditched that in favor of the chemical guys because this is easier to work with. So basically you need to get some either clay bar sealant. What I use is just soapy water and uh, just take the clay bar and make it into a little uh, patty like this and then just go over the surface and you'll feel it pulling all the contaminants out. Now if you guys could feel this, it feels like glass. There is no uh, contaminants or anything left in the surface. I'm going to see if the camera can try to pick this up. I don't know if you can see, there's little specks of contaminants in there. And what you want to do is you just want to fold this over like this, knead it, and then get you a fresh side. Now the paint feels smooth, but it certainly doesn't feel, it doesn't have that slick feeling. And as you can see, the water is still, on this car, is still beating up a little bit. And that's just because the paint is new. Um, right now, the surface tension that's causing the water to beat up is just from the oils in the paint. If your paint is a little older, or if it wasn't protected right from the start, it's probably going to have just a flat um, sheet look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the entire car with my clay bar and then I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, here's what it looks like with the paint sealant. It is on everything. Uh, the Adams paint sealant, one of the reasons I like it, other than the fact that it's very durable, is it will not stain the, <coughs> excuse me, the black plastic or trim. Then you just take a really soft, plush microfiber towel and buff it right off. If you could feel the... I mean, this feels like oiled glass. It's so smooth. <clears throat> then when I'm done, I'll pull the car back out and show you guys what a difference the water beading is on a car that has a fresh sealant uh, application. All right, guys, so it is the morning after, and I just want you to see the difference in how the um, performance of the paint is now. If I could really emphasize how incredibly slick this is. Um, obviously you can't see, but it is just, it feels like oiled glass. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the hose and I'm gonna spray the hood and, and then I'll do a before and after.
All right, now I want you to hear the paint the way it sounds when I'm rubbing on it again. Okay, there's absolutely no sound when I rub my hand on the paint. Now, as far as the beading, I'm not sure if you can really tell on the camera the difference in the beading. Uh, the water sheets off much faster, but I think the sound uh, is going to be a better tell of the um, protection that's on at least this car. When you have a, as I said before, when you have a car that's got newer paint, even if there's no wax protection on, you're still going to get a um, a considerable amount of beading even with that protection off however your fingers and your hand oftentimes are the I guess um, indicators of how well the protection is still on here so anyway um, this is probably gonna last another year and a half we'll see this is as I said before the best paint sealant I have ever used so Actually, when I start driving this, once I get up to about 30 miles an hour, the hood will be completely dry. So if you're driving in a rainstorm, um, it's weird because the drops will hit the hood and then roll off. And I also put the paint sealant on every surface of this car. Other than the, uh, the black plastic, I put it on the headlights. If you do that and keep your headlights covered, they will never oxidize like you see a lot of headlights. I put it on the, uh, I'll call this the fake chrome trim, on the glass, everything. Uh, all painted surfaces, all shiny uh, trim, all that. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you do not use the dishwashing detergent to wash your car. As I said before, if you want to strip the uh, paint or sealant protection off uh, to redo it in the clay bar, I would recommend that you use the Chemical Guys Wash and Clear. So I will see you guys on the next video.